Hi friends, this is Uma Karunakaran and in this video I would like to share with you a very simple cost effective and purposeful method for managing your wet waste that is the decomposable part of your waste. One of the biggest environmental issues today is solid waste management. Containers of our so-called cleaning agents add to these landfills. The daily use of aggressive and toxic chemical products for cleaning and maintenance at home endangers not just one's own health but also the environment and every living cell in it. Have you ever wondered why we fall sick often in spite of the strict cleanliness routines we follow at home? Are the kids really growing up in a clean home? With all those fumes and artificial odors released from these cleaning agents, I think our future attire at home must be this. Disgusting, isn't it? How on earth do we clean our homes safely? I'm so sorry to have confused you all up. So, it's now my duty to provide you a solution. Yes, it's indeed a solution. Let's jointly say a big no to chemicals and instead opt for an environment friendly solution, the garbage enzymes. Garbage enzyme is an organic solution produced by the simple fermentation of fresh vegetable and fruit waste. This fermentation creates a natural chain of proteins, mineral salts and enzymes. This solution has the capacity to break down particles and other catalytic properties which makes it a wonderful cleaning aid. Some of you might freak out when you hear the word garbage. I believe this is the reason why people refer to this solution with varied names like bioenzymes, ecoenzymes, fruit enzymes or even citrus enzymes. Garbage enzymes have a wide range of applications. I have personally been producing and using it for the last one year. And this video is a comprehensive collection of my experiences with this miracle enzyme. The link to the video on the various uses of garbage enzyme is provided in the comment section below. Please click on the link to find the various uses of this enzyme. Now let's get into the actual methodology of garbage enzyme preparation. The basic requirements are firstly the container. You need an added container, preferably plastic. It's better to avoid glass or metal containers in this case. Secondly, we need the waste. It can be solely fruit waste or a combination of fruit and veggie waste. The particular combination of papaya, pineapple and citrus is found to be very effective due to the digestive enzymes present in these fruits. The third requirement is jaggery or molasses. It is better to avoid white sugar. The fourth requirement is water and we are very particular in adding non-chlorinated water. The fifth requirement is optional. It is nothing but yeast that is available in any grocer shop. This helps in accelerating the process. This is an optional ingredient. It is not a must. And if you want your enzymes to be done a little bit faster, you can use yeast. So it's time to recollect some mathematics. Let's rewind to the chapter on ratios. 1 is to 3 is to 10. 1 parts jaggery to every 3 parts of waste with 10 parts of water. As simple as that. So if it's 300 grams of waste, you need to add 100 grams of jaggery and 1000 ml of water. That is 1 liter of water. So now to increase the production, just keep multiplying the ratios. As simple as that. For every 3 kgs of waste, you need to add 1 kg of jaggery and 10 liters of water. So here we have the pictorial representation of the garbage enzyme production. Remember to chop the waste and uh, crush the jaggery. You just simply have to add all the ingredients into the container, give it a good stir and leave the lid closed tight. Do not fill the container up to the rim. Remember to leave at least a few inches of space above the solution for the gases that build up during the process of fermentation. Let's assume you have a 15 liter container. Now this can hold waste up to 3 kgs 
with 1 kg of jaggery and 10 liters of water. We generally don't generate 3 kgs of waste on a single day. But what you can do is you can add in parts. For every 300 grams that you add, add 100 grams of jaggery and 1 liter of water. Keep adding till it reaches 3 kgs of waste with 1 kg of jaggery and 10 liters of water. The day you finish this deadline, you mark the date on the container. From this date till 3 months of completion, is the actual time taken for the production of the enzyme. As fermentation proceeds, gases start building up in the space above the solution. So for the first one month, it is essential for you to open the lid to release these gases at least twice or thrice a day. After a month or so, the release of gases subsides. So you just can leave the solution undisturbed for the next two months. And after three months, your miracle enzyme is going to be ready. So what happens during these three months of fermentation? Let me give you an overview of the science behind this process. During the first month, sugars are broken down to alcohol and carbon dioxide, the reason for gases building up in the container. During the second month, acetic acid or vinegar is produced. During the third month, the breakdown of the organic matter continues and the thriving bacteria in it produces enzymes like proteases, lipases and amylases. These enzymes remain in the solution. Anytime after three months, the solution is ready to use. The liquid color may range from bright to dark brown. Strain the liquid separately and store it in a cool, dry and a dark place. If you have used more of vegetable waste, the liquid will have a sore smell. This is quite normal and it is not a matter of concern. If you want your solution to have a pleasant aroma, use a large amount of fruit waste, especially citrus. As I mentioned before, personally, I feel that more of citrus along with papaya and pineapple waste is found to be very effective. This is basically because citrus contains terpenes which are good grease cutters while papaya and pineapple contain digestive enzymes. Do not discard the residue. It can be used for cleaning tough stains or as a fertilizer or as an accelerator. We will look into each of these applications shortly. If in case you would like to accelerate the process, there are ways to do it. If this is your first attempt at making the garbage enzyme and if you would like to accelerate the process, adding half to one teaspoon of yeast to every liter of water will accelerate the process and the solution will be ready any time after two months. If you already have the residue of the previous batch, adding one or two spoons of it to every liter of water is very effective. You can see the effect of various accelerators on the turbidity of the solution. Once the enzyme is ready to use, clear liquid separates out as the upper layer. At the slightest onset of a problem, do not panic. Every problem has a solution. All you need to do is to identify the problem. The formation of white mould as the topmost layer is absolutely fine. It just indicates that the anaerobic fermentation is happening in the right track. The presence of moles of any other color is indeed a matter of concern. If it happens quite early in the process, it indicates that the container is not airtight. Add some more jaggery, give the mixture a good stir and make sure that the container is airtight. Worms in your bioenzyme. It is always better to add fresh waste and please do not leave the waste in open for too long. Flies may lay their eggs in them and these develop into worms or larvae to be precise. So in such a case, just add some more jaggery, give it a good stir and keep the container airtight. Oh my god, yucky, your solution is stinking. This hardly happens under regular circumstances. However, if at all it happens, something has seriously gone wrong. Add the same quantity of jaggery as you added initially. Stir the contents in the container well, keep it closed and airtight and do not open the container unless it puffs up. By the time it finishes its course of 3 months, 
things should settle down properly. So what are you waiting for? Get set and go. Start preparing your enzyme today and by the time your enzymes are ready, watch out for my next video on the various uses of the enzymes. The link for that video is provided in the comment section below. If every household utilized their garbage to produce these enzymes, it can stop the kitchen waste from frilling up the landfills and hence ease global warming. Be the change you wish to see in the world. Switch over to garbage enzymes.